Hello, welcome back to Escape the Pacific. This is Survive Games, and uh, the tree is still hovering. I took down this tree in hopes that this one would just replant, <laughs> but it didn't happen. Well, I'm cutting down some uh, trees with the thought that I will build on to the top of this one, or at least put a ladder to the top and do what uh, was suggested. Just get the... Uh, Get these uh, water collectors to the top. Not sure if it's necessary or even worthwhile to do so, but, uh, you know, just to keep busy. And again, my sails are up. Let's just attach to the raft and oh, put my, uh... there we go. Now detach from the raft. Sorry. Ah! And they're down again. All right. Good start. Oh, there's a rock there. Oh, that's just the bush. So lots of trees. Uh, you need to take them to here and figure out what I'm going to do, what size roof I might make, whatever it may be. Uh, probably just going to put down a platform and a ladder for now. But, we'll see. There's lots to do. Lots that can be done, I guess. Let's get that started, actually. Gonna need a platform of some kind, so let's, let's do a weak foundation. Attach it right there. I think it takes long sticks. I think it only takes one. But uh, we'll see. Yep, one. It's too easy. All right, so I will uh, get out my hammer. And away we go. That's done. Now I need to build one of these. And it's as easy as that. Wow. Okay, now. One of these. Whoa. Okay. And that's where it's a little more complicated. Uh, let's just take these to the back. Keep them all nearby. This also, take, also takes a thick branch, so let's get that done right away. All right, now a bunch more long branches. Oh, that's it? Okay. Did that take less than it used to? Felt like it was less. Whatever. I'll uh, check that out next time. Or I'll check it out in a second. Almost done. Alright, now. There we go. That'll work. I still have to jump up on that one. I wonder if I can build another one. Yeah. Let's do that. Why not? And then I'll be able to walk up. I think I'll be able to walk up. It might be a waste. But, let's try it anyway. If it doesn't work, I'll take it apart and whatever I get, I'll, uh... Whatever I get back, I'll use against uh, onto the uh, other ladder. Okay, what's this take? Long sticks, two. There we go. Okay. 
All right. Now, does it work? There we go, yeah. I can just walk straight up. All right. I'll leave it then. Get some more wood. I only need one long stick and one thick branch, so... You know what? Instead of cutting those logs down, I'm going to look for a thick branch. And there's one right there. Beauty! Alright, that's done. Now I have a way up. Onto my roof, just like that. Woo! And then run off. Grab these. Oh, wait a second. Let's try this. Can I reach it from the roof? If I crouch? Yes, I can. Alright. <laughs> there, that's the lazy man's way to do it. Crouch. Uh, maybe I'll move them over. Yeah, I think I'll move them over. Maybe I can reach them from the, uh, the other side a little easier. Whoops. Alright, now, can I reach that? Nope. But, at least I can come up here and grab the buckets easier. Now, if I needed a drink, I can do it from here. Okay, so it's not easy, but I can do it. Yeah, I think that's a little more inconvenient, but it's a good way to keep things out of the way. I mean, what's the big deal? All I have to do is run up the stairs. So maybe I'll build one more rack to go up top. Or maybe just leave it like that. Now let's take this guy up here, too. The other good thing is it's on level ground. It wasn't on level ground before, so... There we go. Wow, the... I just noticed the stairs are working really well on this. I wonder if it's the same on the boat. Maybe he fixed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, maybe not. So it works well going up, but down's kind of bumpy. On land, it's great. Beautiful. Whee! Okay. <laughs> Enough playing. How are these doing? 50%. 40%. Wow. They've gone up 20% uh, each in the last little while. Zero percent. Okay, so let's put some of these in here. Maybe there's some more fish. Oh, there it is. Hundred percent already? Wow. Okay, I just I just cleared the fish out uh, when I got up in the morning. And uh, filled up my racks over there. So let's put some in the composter first. Maybe one more. There we go. 50-50. Then get some sand.
Okay, I'm going to need a few more fish. And a few more sticks. There. Got a... F whoops. Got a fish already. <laughs> that was really fast. Let's refill everything. May as well get everything up uh, and going. And keep an eye on this corn, as I really want to uh, see what was going on the last time. So when it got to 100%, there was no corn. All you could do was clean it up. Oh, and somebody was saying, thank you very much, that, uh, what was it? The carrot seeds. Apparently, you let it go a little longer, past the 100%, to get the seeds. And that could have been the case, because when I picked before, on the first cluster, uh, I got, with the seed ones, and the regular carrots, I may have come back long after they would al they were already grown, so not sure about that. I think for the fun of it, I'm going to go out, cool off, and get some clams. Try a different direction this time. See if I can find them anywhere underwater. Okay, I've gone out fairly deep. I don't see any big rocks here yet. There's a big rock. Does it have any clams on Or Yes, it does. So yeah, these bigger, lighter boulders, they have the white specks on them. The white specks are what you're looking for. I'm just going to hit them all. And then pick them all up. Or as many as I can. I guess I should stand back to see that I got them. Check my inventory. Yeah, I think that's all I can do. So, I'll just get back to the surface. I'm thinking with my strength of swimming these days, there's a possibility I might be able to carry the, carry the shoulder bag underwater. I'm just going to drop them all here. I want to see. There's nothing in it. Okay, let's see. I'm taking a chance here, but let's see if I almost drown. Or if I'll be able to swim. I can swim. Now the biggest question is... Will I be able to get to the surface if I fill my bag with... Uh, with clams, or with oysters? <laughs> well, it's worth the chance. I'm just going to try a few because I know I can swim with these, but with the bag, I'm not sure. Can I surface? I can. All right. And I stay afloat. So that's a good sign. Let's go back down and get some more.
Where did it go? All right, this is working really well. You get quite the harvest. All right, let's get to the surface. A little bit harder now. <laughs> I'm very thirsty. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Whoa. Yeah, it's a little harder to swim now. But it is possible if you have uh, good ratings. I'll show you my ratings when I get to shore. I think that's pretty much my limit. Alright, so... My swim strength is 7 and my dive strength is 7. And strength is seven. So, and endurance is seven. So all those things totaled up. If you have that, I would suggest, yeah, bring bring your side bag and go out to the water and you can pick some things up that way. But I wouldn't suggest it with knives and axes and things like that. But with uh, oysters, yes. It's a good way to go, in my opinion. Holy cat! I have uh, 23 of them, so that's pretty good. Oh, and somebody was wondering. I need to make a smoker and try to smoke these. <laughs> he uh, noticed in a in a store that there's smoked oysters in a can, and thought, "I wonder if you can do that." It's like, yeah, yeah, you probably can. I've had those smoke smoked oysters, and uh, yeah, uh, not sure that. It's the best way to go, but <laughs> uh, what was I doing here? Dropping these, yes. All right, now let's get my bags on and um, make a make a smoker. Ah, what the hell? You know what? Make the roof my new patio. Okay. I guess they have to be made in the ground first. <laughs> All right, let's get some banana leaves, if there are any. Oh, that's banana tree actually has bananas on it. This one does too. I'm not going to cut those down, but I will cut this down. I better probably get a drink before I die. <laughs> okay, I'm going to finish up the smoker and then I'll put it on the roof. And tomorrow we'll give the... Uh, Two small sticks. We'll give the uh, oysters a try. See if we can smoke oysters. All right. I didn't sleep late enough for it to be morning, but uh, it's bright enough that you can see what's going on. Oh, shit. Oh, these things can only be placed where you place them. You can't move them afterwards. Okay. Fair enough. My bad. I'll, uh, I'll get this thing going. All right, let's uh, get ready to get this started. I need to grab some oysters. I'm not even going to bring out more than one right now because I want to see if I can attach it. No, you cannot smoke oysters. Okay. All right, let's get this uh, fire started. Okay, number one. There we go. They're cooking. And I have enough here to keep me going for quite a while.
Yeah, if you're cooking these, don't go anywhere. Like, holy crap, they cook fast. I'm gonna leave one on there to see how badly it gets, or how what, what it turns into when you cook it too long. Uh, but in the meantime... Put some more down. Burnt oyster. Okay. I think that's all of them. There's cooked, they're cooked, they're cooked, and that's burnt. It's useless. Okay, so I'll throw that in the uh, composter. So it takes 4.8 water to put out a fire, a campfire, just so you're aware. Uh, yeah, and I'm not sure you can do it in two shots. I don't know if you can come back and forth with four different containers or five different containers, like coconut pots. I have no idea if that works. I, I really don't even care to try because it's, it's like, if you want to know, go ahead and try it, but... It's uh, not really important to me. Now I'm going to put this burnt one in here. And what I think I'll do up here, it feels like a deck, so why not make it into one? Thinking uh, using some half walls or something like that. Or just these railings. Two planks. That's all it takes. So, yeah, why not? There we go. I'm assuming they're small sticks. No, they're long sticks. It's a half pillar, but it takes a long stick. That's kind of weird. I won't argue. Just get it done. This is exactly what I did on my boat. I had to put these up around the back end of it, so it's uh, at least you get to see it done. It takes very little to make these things. I think... I guess long sticks make sense for this. I, I was thinking it didn't, because I think it takes a long stick to make the tall, the double-sized pillars, so... <laughs> Uh, but it's okay. I mean, it's longer than a short stick, so... Or a small stick. A stick railing. Okay, I see. Now, if I did this one... Would it work on that? Yeah, it does. I think it looks better. So I think I'll do that. And there it is. Now I just need to grab my planks and put it up here. It's not bad. I kind of like that. Good little deck. Maybe I'll put a chair and a table up here, too. Or, yeah, there's only need for one chair. I was thinking, oh, it would look better with two. But, yeah, there's only one person in this entire area. <laughs> so there's no need for more chairs. Take those. That might be enough to do most of it.
All right, there we go. One more, two more. And that is all she wrote, as they say. I really, really like that. It looks professional. It even looks level and straight. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> Looks like it has a crown on. Nice. There we go. It's not anywhere near the plan I have for a big house, but uh, obviously, because it's not a big house. But my plan is, when I get to a big island in a good cluster, is to have probably... This would be one room. Like you walk in, this would be the living room. And then there would be another room here that's maybe four by four or two by two. And uh, the same on the other side. And then another big room back here that could be uh, storage and everything else. And then an upstairs that could be the bedrooms. And, and then a porch around the whole thing. So I'd probably use every single tree on every island to make the place. <laughs> You'll see. That'll be fun someday, but uh, not until I leave this cluster. So, not doing bad. I'm just a little thirsty. That's too bad you can't put the uh, smoker on this deck. That is that. So... Got tons of oysters. Oh, speaking of which, why don't I eat some? Oh, God, they go bad fast. Holy crap, they're only doing six now. So they go bad really fast. Oh, and it reminds me, I wanted to check something else out. Uh, not sure where I put it. Fish stew. Yeah, it does go down in value. I, I was talking to somebody about this. It, I noticed uh, when I was in post the last video that it was 90 and it went down to 98 in the couple of minutes that I was talking about it. So, yeah, now we're down to 88 for hunger. So they don't last very long. I don't think they're the greatest thing to spend all your time doing to, uh, well... I mean, it's nice to have a few, but if you're going on a long, week-long trip, by the time a week was over, these things would probably be down to, like, five. <laughs> so they would be almost useless. The uh, dried fish and the dried uh, meat would probably last longer. So that's already garbage. Wow, that was fast. It's the same day. Not a, not a fan of that. I'm just going to put them all in there. I don't need any food. The only reason I got these things was to test them out and see if I could smoke them and to see whether or not I could carry them out of the water in a in a side pack. So just going to quickly uh put something together here. There we go. Okay, so now I have a chair recipe put down. Grab this table and put it up there. There, now I can get out the door. Can't see what the hell I'm doing, but I can get out the door. <laughs> this is really awkward. Okay, drop it. Thank you. I think I still have planks on me. Yes, I do. Uh-huh. There we go. So, let's move that out of the way. Let's put this over, let's say, here.
There we are, sitting at our table, overlooking the ocean, watching the seagulls fly around. They're probably going to crap on my head while I'm sitting here. And probably, yeah, very hot. <laughs> so I better get off that chair and get the hell in the water. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you had a great day, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you are. And uh, take care of yourselves in this wonderful time we're living in. I will uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.